Yes, we have uh, competitors in both uh, secondary and post-secondary levels. Uh, the competitions differ for both of them. The secondary, uh, it ends here for them, but uh, in post-secondary, not this year because it's not a qualifying year, but every other year post-secondary have the opportunity to uh, qualify for world skills. Um, I can tell you in the secondary division, uh, they're doing everything from printed circuit board assemblies to fault finding, a little bit of reverse engineering. There's a lot of theory that's embedded in there. And uh, right now they're working on a breadboard project. That, uh, they're actually building a, a small digital voltmeter. In the post-secondary, uh, it gets a little bit more intense. The, the competition is actually aligned with that of world skills. So in the post-secondary, they're, they're breadboarding the circuit, they're designing. They're actually going to design up the uh, printed circuit board. They're using uh, multi-SIM here, but uh, they use Altium in uh, uh, world skills. And then uh, they're actually building it. It's an accelerometer. Here we're actually using it to just uh, sense uh, balance, left to right, front to back. Uh, these young students, they learn these subjects at their pers prospective schools, but uh, in order to compete here, uh, they've realized that they have to actually take it up a few levels. So, and I think that anyone in industry would be happy hiring. I would, from what I've seen, just about anybody that's sitting here.